A rip heard around the world. The rip happened during the super fun twirl around Doc's living room. One second, Doc and Lammy were arm in arm, spinning around, and the next second, Lammy's woolly fabric got stuck on Sir Kirby's sword. Oh no, Doc gasped. Mum, I'm going to the clinic. When the toys came to life, Doc showed Lammy the bad news. My beautiful pink plush, Lammy cried. It's ripped. I'm on it, Lammy, Doc said. Inside the checkup room, Doc examined the rip with a magnifying lens. Fixing the rip wasn't going to be as easy as she'd thought. Stuffy suggested that some tape might work. He and Chili wrapped the tape around Lammy, but poor Lammy couldn't dance, or walk, or move. Then Stuffy suggested a clip to hold Lammy's rip together. As soon as she started to dance, the clip popped off and nearly hit Chili. Lammy, there's only one way I can think to fix you up, said Doc. You need stitches. Sometimes, when a cut is really big, or really deep, we have to hold it together with something like thread. Doc gently explained, I know it's scary, but it's the only way for it to heal well. Okay, do it if you must, Lammy said, bravely. I'm ready. Doc couldn't do the stitches, though, because she didn't know how to sew. She needed to take Lammy to see a specialist. I think we're going to need to see Mum, Doc told Lammy. She's a doctor and really good at taking care of kids and stuffed animals. Doc promised to stay with Lammy the whole time and hold her paw. They left the clinic and headed to the house. Mum took a look at Lammy's rip. We'll have to sew that right up, she said. Mum took Lammy and Doc into her office. She found the right thread to stitch Lammy up and carefully sew the rip. When she was finished, Doc gave her a hug and carried Lammy back to the clinic. You used pink thread, Lammy said when she saw the scar. It's ba ba beautiful. Thank you. And Doc and Lammy twirled and laughed for the rest of the afternoon.